Welcome back to my third video, Hearts of Iron 4, playing as France, as historically accurate as we possibly can as part of my historical playthrough series. And we're going to begin in January 9th, 1940, picking up right where the second video left off. Germany has completed their invasion of France, and Paris has fallen. And I chose the option to continue the fight which leaves me as free France, and this sort of puppeted state of Vichy France exists, but that ain't me. So, where am I? Good question. Well, first of all, we've got a new sort of temporary flag here, and our leader is Charles de Gaulle, as you can see. And so, this is a little bit odd, and I was kind of expecting this, and a little bit looking forward to it. I think I'm even more looking forward to it. So we actually have all these occupied territories, and it was a little bit odd to see we've got one here in Brittany. So technically we own this. So we're the owner, we're the controller, um, but I'm pretty sure this is not going to be ours for very long. So we have docks, dockyards, and some fuel silos and all that sort of thing. Um, which we could build on and everything, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, but So anyway, a little bit more about that later. Let's just keep looking around where we're at. Um, so we have all these other occupied territories, and the one where we can see um, where, where we have some more presence is, uh, where's it at? I believe it's here in Tahiti, yeah. And specifically on New Caledonia. So we've got this is it. Our entire army is limited to five divisions on New Caledonia. So that uh, that's us. And we have some other occupied territories all around. For example, there's one here in southern China. If I scroll around properly, there we go. Um, but all of their population, I, I assume it's their population that keeps it at zero of 25. <clears throat> The populations are so low that we, we can build nothing here. So let's um, kind of explore a little bit more about where this left us off at and, and uh, what our goals are. So in no particular order, I'm going to attempt to use my intelligence agency uh, a little bit more and try to do some resistance building and stuff like that in in core France. Um, why is this blue? Oh, okay. Um, don't know why that's blue. It's kind of odd. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, so let's do some of that a little bit right now uh we're gonna move one of our agents here oh no they're still infiltrating the army okay so we'll get back to that uh in a minute so just uh, scanning above here we've got lots of of things that we need to do and uh, specifically let's talk about our production so right now as free france scattered all across the world and diaspora uh, we have only two available factories, but those are both here, I believe. No, I'm wrong. I don't know where they are. Um, but they're gonna be they're gonna be gone soon. Um, and we're not gonna have any. And that's one of the challenges of playing Free France is through some national focuses, we will get things like uh, ads industrialist. Is that what I'm talking about? Uh, there's some things where it'll say, um, come on, where is it? Where, where you get, like, uh, it, it'll give you, um, uh, bonus factories, like, you know, uh, out of nowhere or something like that. I could have sworn I've seen them already. But, uh, continue the fight. Oh, yeah, there it is. So, add two off-map military factories... Okay, 50 units of com you know, where it just gives you stuff as free France. And so then we're going to have this small military machine that we're going to 
get, that'll give us a little bit of default points, and then we're going to build back up from there. So um, right now we have free civilian factories. We're not going. I mean, I suppose there's only one piece of land I can currently build on, and I believe it's in French Guyana. No. Um, I think it's actually here on Republic of Guadeloupe. There we go. So we've got one slot here that we can build on. So we can start building a um, civilian factory there, which I'm going to do. Okay, and you can see we've got six points, two being consumed by our consumer goods already. So that's how we're going to start our production. However, I do think that's going to be taken away from us soon. So we'll need to figure out how to uh, continue on with production. Now, in terms of divisions in training, um, I've got some equipment, so I could do stockpiled, so we could do some training, uh, which we probably will do. And because the majority of my forces... I'm sorry to do it this way, but without a mainstream country, it's really kind of hard to be scrolling all over the map all the time. Um... Because of our mainstream forces being sort of uh, all combined here, we might as well just go ahead and set our uh, deployment targets there. Okay, so we've got uh, that's that's good. I mean, I wonder if I can do another one. Maybe. All right. Well, we can we can build up a couple more divisions. So, as far as what our divisions are going to do, it's not like they're going to exactly land on uh, Normandy Beach at, at this point. Um, we're gonna need to work with our allies, and so this focus here on Eastern Africa is going to be the entire focus of this video. We're gonna go through some more mechanics of what it's like to um, be free France. But we're going to come in and support the ongoing British effort. And this is one of the first campaigns that occurred in Africa, historically speaking, was in Eastern Africa. And then we have a major campaign in Northern Africa, which should begin. How that takes shape, I don't know. We do see that there are some focuses for us let's do we're gonna skip west africa actually because that never really materialized in intervention in north africa we're gonna do madagascar uh we're gonna do central africa maybe into china that did happen but i don't know how valuable it's gonna be to us uh and so i don't know what those are gonna look like it says here okay well let's focus on um north africa because that's the one we're gonna do next so, Unlock's decision to prepare a coup in North Africa or promise independence to North Africa. So, I'm not really sure what those are going to look like. I'm not going to do the promise independence because uh, it didn't actually happen. Uh, Africa did not get its independence until uh, quite a bit later, actually. So, all of our production is going to, again, be towards this battle here in uh in well it's not only ethiopia but it's uh eastern africa let's get started with our national focuses um i i'm going to choose between either refuse absurd or appeal to the french nation both of these things did legitimately happen we're gonna go ahead and do let's see what's this gonna give us this is all about resistance, which I want. And one of the key things that this is going to do for us at the top is remove our defeatism, which is on us currently as a national spirit. Okay, recruitable population. It's diminishing our legitimacy game, resistance, everything. So I'm going to do that one first, and then immediately follow that up 
with Charles de Gaulle's appeal to the French nation, which did happen. He went on the radio and basically appealed to people to, to, to fight. So, Refuse Absurd, uh, from Wikipedia, resistance when it first began in the summer of 1940 was based on what the writer Jean Casso called Refuse Absurd, or Absurd Refusal, of refusing to accept that the Reich would win, and even if it did, it was better to resist. So, we are going to resist, baby. Now, taking off from here, uh, we've got some research that's going on. So here's kind of the path that we're going to do on research. I am going to abandon all air research at this point because by the time the war's over, I don't think we're ever really going to get to a place where we are um, um, going to bring air, air force of, of anything to, to bear. So Navy research, I'll probably continue this for things that are going to directly impact, um, you know, damages, uh, modifiers, and all that sort of thing. But if it's like, well, here's this new hull that I could end up building one of them by 1952 or something like that, eh, I'm probably going to pass on that, uh, just because it's not going to really matter for the game. Um, and so... You know, really where I'm going to stay focused is kind of where I was focused before, which was on industry and on infantry. Well, I should say the, the ground forces. But I'm also going to prioritize those things that can give me an immediate benefit. Because much like the ship that I might have to wait until 1950 to be able to build, with limited production that I have, um, it's going to be kind of lame as I already did right when I um, right when I capitulated in the last video, if we upgrade all this technology and now it's like all of our production resources are going to upgrading as opposed to uh, producing more divisions. Now, in theory, I could just prioritize those out and may end up doing that. But the main point being that all of my research is going to be geared towards those things that can help me now as opposed to help me later. All right, while Navy is moving, we are going to get busy attacking our friend, or attacking with our friends, excuse me, not attacking our friends. So what I've done in the meantime is turned on uh, allies' battle plans because we're not gonna be able to do anything on our own, really. So it's really gonna be all about supporting what they're doing and I am going to do that. So in my own little way, which could be kind of stupid, but who knows. So I can see here that they're kind of making a general push in this direction. What state is this? Can we tell even? Oh, I'm a maybe mode, that's why. Okay, and Harare, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, in what's called Italy, but I think is what is this Somalia? I'm sorry, I'm an American. I don't have geography. I don't. I don't geography very well. Anyway, so let's get um, everybody put together. Uh, I'm gonna collapse my into China. We're going to get a commander installed. For now, I don't know if it was actually De Gaulle who commanded these forces. So, there was a French Liberation Army. Let's see. Was the reunified French army that arose from merging the Army d'Afrique with the prior Free French Forces. So, I think that's what we are right now, is the Free French Forces. Uh, I'm not really seeing, so we're going to go ahead and just put De Gaulle in charge of the um, primary offensive force here. And let's see, I don't want to spread my huge force across multiple states. Uh, let's, so let's just maybe get a front going 
with like two, two, make one, two. Let's see. Uh, just the one, I think. And then, um, what do we have here? One division. One di oh, duh. Attention. Didn't do everybody. Oops. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so let's get everybody uh, signed up for this thing. Okay. And what they'll do, they'll, they'll just make their way over there. I thought I had to I had to play in uh, Europa Universalis for too long, trying to figure out how to transport them and all that stuff. They'll figure it out. Uh, and they'll just start taking planes, trains, and automobiles. Not automobiles, but you know what I mean. Uh, to head on over there and, and get ready to go. So we're going to uh, just let them do their thing and um, keep an eye on the Navy. Got some doctrines. Some worthless Air Force doctrines, which is because I'm, I'm not going to do a single thing with Air Force for the rest of the game. So. Uh, and I will do some pixings and choosings. Oh, well. Hey, hey, we can promote an ace pilot that we're never going to use. Why not? Hey, congratulations, you. And uh, so let's. We'll, we'll, we'll get them moved over there and continue to uh, maneuver the Navy around here. What can you do for me to go? Infantry expert? Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. Okay, a bit of a supply issue here. 55% logistics fulfillment, because we're using convoys basically to transfer troops at this point. Bye. Which, I don't know that there's really anything we can do about that. Okay, so six days, seven days. So they're they're making their way downtown. How how this says it's only gonna take them nine days is kind of interesting to me. I've got nothing else to do, so let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. At this pace, it's somewhat interesting to me. So in fact, let's go ahead and just boost it up a little bit more. Uh, okay. I want to stay ahead of my research, so... Please forgive me. Okay. Um... Attention. Remove victors of the Great War. That sucks. Remove disjointed government. That's good. Okay. Um, let's follow, well, not so much. So, they'll get here, I've seen this before, they'll arrive and then be like, no, we're not going to take a boat all the way to Africa, we're going to land on Australia, and then take a train to the other side of Australia, which apparently, traveling across the entire continent of Australia is somehow faster than going by boat. Don't ask me. Those are some really slow boats, if that's the case. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. So, I'm not going to torture you so bad as to watch the entire... Well, maybe I am. I don't know. This is just fascinating to me. Like, not sure how historically accurate this is, but, uh... You know, who knows? What's this? Escaped exile forces. Okay, there are four divisions that have escaped to continue the fight for the UK. Uh, oh, in, oh, yeah, hey, here's your expeditionary force. Okay, cool. So, that's good. We want you. Got so, it's going to basically... Uh, we've got these extra four. I'm just going to basically add them to the African theater. Or to the army in the African theater that de Gaulle is commanding, which should get them moving automatically to the front. Um, how they're going to go about doing that is kind of beyond me. Again, I'm somewhat interested in this. Where are you guys at? Oh no, you're, you're sailing from Australia, not you. Okay, oh, it's you, you guys. Okay. Alright, they're going to... 
sail from Britain to where? To Northern Africa. Okay. All right, so anyway, um, let's let them do their thing and, and make their way to the front, and then we will begin the attack. So one thing that I've noticed, um, these divisions are, what, at like 11% strength? Okay. I guess they're... Well, what would this be? Waiting to be reinforced? Except for we have no production, so that's got to suck. And I think our, um, yeah, our factory that we were trying to build over here in French Guiana is suffering from the fact that we don't have any, uh, don't have any factories. Oh, so it never, it never even started. Oh no, I got 109 progress. We're 1% complete. Woohoo! Progress. Um, so anyway, this was kind of odd, uh, odd to me. They're like, hey, we're going to give you some troops that don't really have any gear. Thank you? Not? So that sucks. Anyway, they're still making their way to the front, slowly. Uh, it looks like Italy made some progress here against Britain. So we need to... Uh, Hold the line a little bit more here. So hopefully with the extra troops we can help them out. While we're preparing for this, uh, our agents did successfully infiltrate the German army. So we're gonna get back up here and do some espionage. Um, I just want to build up a network, that's all I really want to do at this point. Okay, and uh, so let's see who's better equipped to do this. Infiltrator. Um, this guy's a seducer and a tough infiltrator. Oh, you're, you're going in, bro. Oh, whoops. I didn't realize. Clicking on him was going to take us all the way back there. Sorry about that. A little bit dizzying. Alright, so let's get on in there to... Uh... Okay. Infiltrate. 193 days. And then I've discovered it's best to just keep her, you know, somebody else in case he gets captured. Uh, you got to, uh, uh, what's this? Root out resistance, control trade, diplomatic pressure. No, pass. Okay, so those are all seem to be defensive um, dealies. Okay, national focus complete. So refuse absurd completed. So we should have lost our spirit of defeatism. We did, which is good. Just like it said. Okay. But also, what it did for us... Let's see. Oh, that was it. Okay. So, we're going to move forward with appealing to the French nation, which will give us more manpower, legitimacy... Oh, and 5k units of infantry equipment. Woohoo! Okay. And in the meantime, uh, we're going to just wait for our plan to fully assemble. Uh, we've got some troops. Where are my other troops at? All right, these guys are still moving. Let's figure out where you're... Oh, okay, you came in. And these guys are moving all the way across... Africa. <laughs> okay. Whatever. All right, it's uh, you. Okay, they're coming. Sorry, I'm a little OCD about this. You're good, you're good. All right, so we're, we're getting into place. And also, their gear appears to be coming up here, so we've got to have equipment that's being produced or shipped in or something like that. So I'm going to um, get on the line and build up to full strength and then we will we will launch this attack. Okay, we are in place. We are fully prepared. We are fully equipped. Let's go. So we're going to begin the plan. We are going to attack... And it looks like our allies are beginning the attack alongside us, so this is good news. 
Got a lot of units holding here. And this area that we chose to attack in, everybody has supply issues here. Alright, good. We might break through at this point. I'm hoping that we... My first plan is just to simply break through to this dock here. And increase our supply and cut off theirs. So what are we talking about? Six days. Alright, let's put this on, on pause here. Appeal to the French nation. Um, appeal to overseas territories. This adds two off-map civilian factories. Heck yeah, which is exactly what we need. To be able to produce one gun. Heh. Alright, lend lease to the British Raj. They want to provide one convoy on a monthly basis. I'll take that. Thank you. We are suffering from supply shortages. If you've got nine more, I'd be really grateful, but I understand. Every bit a little bit counts. Um, and this part of the war is not looking all that great. Oh, no, alright, things are picking up here. That's what's so funny, is that things can just change so quickly. So we should be able to sweep in pretty quick here. comes let's push what's this free France is in a state of war normally an election mm, interesting it doesn't really look like uh, elections were truly held at this point normally an election would be held it's an important conflict. Many argue that it cannot afford to spend time. I mean, there really isn't a country. So uh, let's do... Uh, we can take care of such matters when uh, the war is through. Political power, stability, uh, change in the popularity of communism and fascism. Of course, that, that sucks, but uh, we got to do what we got to do. All right, let's just keep seeing how this goes. Not doing too well here, but they're managing up here, so we might have some kind of encirclement that occurs, which would be nice. Okay, I don't know why suddenly we just gained an advantage on them. Well, they're losing organization pretty badly. And we're, we're a lot stronger there, so that, that makes sense. Probably they're shifting around, realizing like, all right, we're gonna get we're gonna get wrapped up here soon. Okay, so uh, let's fast forward this a little bit. All right, we got our two off-map civilian factories. Added. All right, and this appears to be a result of we appeal to the overseas territories, right? Hey, help us out. And a lot of people were very reluctant to join Free France. Into China? No thanks. We're going to stay Vichy France, right? And then, uh, so we should have uh, a factory. So we have two off. Uh, that's U.S. Uh, we have two off. Factories now, where's our construction? Well, apparently we don't. Oh, that's just handling our trade goods. Gee, <laughs> okay, uh, that sucks. Um, all right, let's get back to national focuses. Okay, industrialists, again, I think this is all resistance. Compliance growth in our states occupied by the enemy. Oh, okay, so non-compliance then. Resistance growth, resistance. Okay, resistance. This is all about resistance, so we will start pushing that a little bit. Here's continue the fight. Okay, yeah, we definitely want to do this with our uh, off-map military factory. Okay, so we're still working here. Not much has changed. Oh, they're trying to attack us now. And why am I doing so? Okay, they're just they're coming back to the party. All right, cool. These are probably the new the new troops. 
so Khan looks like everybody's taking a breather at this point. Yeah, and we're even in the red. So I'm going to call a halt to this. Syria decides to remain with Vichy. Right, and we're going to get uh, all of our preparation back up, back online here. Uh, because there's no sense just banging our head against these guys forever. It just doesn't make any sense. So, message after message coming through. People saying, screw you, we're going to stay with Vichy France. Uh, that's expected. Um, yeah, North Africa remains with... A coward and a traitor. Now, interestingly enough, Free France was basically seen as rebellion. Um, because Vichy France was like, we're France, we have a government, our government just decided to collaborate with Germany. Again, not that that's a good thing, you know, morally. But they were like, uh, what do you what do you want us to do? We, we're, we're doing what the government that represents the people said they want done. Uh, so, a bit of a conundrum there, but uh, again, I am just chose, I could have chosen to play as Vichy France, that was a historically accurate entity. Um, oh good, we're going to encircle these bastards and wipe them out. Okay, bye-bye. Um, but, it just, I don't know, good guys, bad guys, right? Just wanted to play as Free France, plus it's been an interesting experience so far. A little unconventional, but uh, no problem. And poof, off they went. Now, I didn't see the beloved poof of them evaporating, so I don't know, maybe they did a evacuation or something like that. Okay, so let's uh, take a, take a look-see around here what, what more is there. So we've got one more push by the Allies up here. So we're going to move the battle here into the mountains and I've done a preview of this and this is a ginormous pain in the butt um, they held us here in the mountains forever and even though it looks like massive devastation and they're totally outnumbered uh, it could be lame I'm, I'm hoping not look 27 9 okay what do they got 12 divisions here there's no way that 21 total divisions should be able to stand against us here. So, to do our part, we see Britain is pushing in from the west, from the southwest and the uh, northwest. I'm going to let them party down here, and basically I'm going to form a front. In fact, let's just go ahead and do this now. Uh, we'll just get a front here. Uh, but I'll actually use the right keys. Okay, what's going on here? Come on. Oh, no, I don't want that. Okay, it did an auto front. That's why. <clears throat> okay, let's just put a front. Do I even want it to be that big? Yeah, why not? Okay, so we'll get a front, and then what we'll do is we'll say... Uh, okay. Um, I want to push in to these two there. Okay. And, um... Well, it says it can activate it, but, uh... Well, let's just get them on the line before we, we uh, before we see that. Okay, well, we've had our noses buried in uh, Eastern Africa for a little while. Let's just take a look-see and see what's going on around the world. So, there's some sort of invasion plan here of Turkey. Not really sure what's going on there. Uh, various battles in the Mediterranean... I just pulled navy out of everything. Perhaps that was a bad idea. Perhaps I should send the navy in to just kind of rough these guys up wherever I can. Uh, at this point, the Battle of Britain, which was Germany was trying to, and this is what we've heard here a lot of in history and in movies and stuff like that. 
Germany was basically trying to bomb the crap out of uh, Britain, and it, it didn't work. And so we do see a lot of air traffic here right now uh, going on. So following that is, is when things began to sort of turn around. So in the meantime, just because I want to actually have a video that's worth watching, uh, we're going to continue on just on the East African side. And uh, we're, I'm not even still completely in place yet. But uh, already the plan is looking decent. And we don't even have uh, people in place yet. So why don't we keep uh, bases or loans in West Africa? Guess what? I don't care. Okay, but that actually gives me a little bit of time to check on our supply here. See, we are going to be somewhat constrained on the supply side, and the further we push in, the harder that's going to be. Um, okay, so I need to figure out what to do with this here. Yeah. Okay. I don't even know that I can control that. Well, I mean, I, clearly I can. If I change it, because if I change it to call, it's like, oh, you don't have any, sorry. Okay. Um, so that's going to become a struggle for us pretty soon. I'm going to figure that out. Okay, but in the meantime, um, everybody's all. arrived. Well, not everybody's arrived. These slackers. What are you doing? Hurry. Um, but we got the green light, so I don't see... Well, let's see what our factors are at this point. Okay, some divisions, 80%, uh, let's go. Let's just pull the trigger on this one. And just hope that, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was supply, but man, the last time I tried taking this area, it was like, I think I just threw in the towel and pushed speed up on the time and ended up in like 1943 or something like that before it finally broke through. I really hope that doesn't happen again. You get really encouraged by all these greens, right? Um, and then things can go downhill. I mean, they just don't... Unless they're going to mobilize and bring in a ton of troops, I'm just, I'm just not seeing it happening. You know, and I was like, oh, I'm going to be the hero. They're fighting all these tough battles here. We're going to swoop in from the side and help them out. And then it didn't, but uh, we're, we're pushing pretty good so far. Okay, so I'm pushing over on this side, and that might be not be the greatest choice, but it's my choice, so fine. All right. Continue the fight did just complete. We've got two off-map off map military factories. Man, I don't know why that's so hard to pronounce. Uh, so production, we should be producing, again, a guns, we've got a guns. And then we have standard support and artillery and everything. A little bit still stockpiled, so that's good to know. Uh, so we should, see, here we go. That one division's like, hell no, bro. Like, I'm gonna hold you off. Okay. Oh, because there's only one division fighting. And again, no supply. Okay. Yeah, see, what are we doing? Uh, everyone's moving around. Okay, I just don't have the for skill to micro properly, so I'm doing a lot of AI control, exclusive AI control here, frankly. Uh, so, you know, we'll see. Seven days, okay, that would be good. Um, so I know, you know, probably people do want to see the battles and everything like that, but also this video could drag on just watching the battles. So, I'll tell you what, I want to see this get popped. And then, uh, I might fast forward again a little bit more. Oh, but I'm an idiot and didn't do my focuses. Okay, so I'm going to turn on this intervention in North Africa, and we'll see what that looks like. And so, we'll probably not do that for this video, but rather kind of get it set up for the next one. 
Uh, supply is becoming a major issue here. Um, and we're just going to need to try to stay supplied on the naval side. So this whole goal of pushing through uh, past, I think we need to basically scrap this. And, um, come on, delete it. Basically scrap this and push to that naval base, frankly. And see, this is what I was talking about. These, um, these, well, this is two divisions, okay. <clears throat> I mean, they can just defend, man. They're standing on these mountains, and it's like, oh, well, there you go. Okay, so it's Belgium with barely any organization. All right, well, that, that makes sense, then. And they've got a weak attack and a weak def Okay, never mind. I'm being stupid. Uh, so anyway, but the concept of... We, we need to push for that. Um, we need to push for this Navy base here. Exclusively at this point. So uh, let's just go ahead and redraw orders. Let's just do a spearhead here. Why do you keep doing that from over there? I mean, I hate to kill my preparation bonus, but, uh... I mean, I only have the one front, right? So... Okay. Do I have some sort of order over here? They're like, let's go over the mountain. No, let's actually go through where you're going through right now. Uh, see, uh, these people shouldn't be attacking over there at all. I, I don't understand it. Okay, and did we... Yeah, and so, so we totally dumped our preparation bonus. Yay. Alright, uh, I'll figure it out. Stop whining. Okay, it looks possibly like there's just too many troops... Uh, which is a good thing. Mine troops. So it's like, alright, well we can't fit everybody on this line to go that way, so let's just shoot at some dudes that are over there. Alright, cool. So, you know, this is looking like a done deal. So, we're gonna take this, push on up to the naval base up here, and God willing, cure some supply issues that are going on right here, because otherwise we're gonna have a major problem trying to take these mountains. Come on, guys. Although the difference in strength here. Some railways in this point. Okay. Alright, good. We're making a lot of progress now. Yeah, everyone's like, get them! We want food! We do. We like food. The end of the League of Nations. So I'm hoping once we take this base, that supply is going to... There we go. <laughs> that makes me happy. Alright, so we're... Do, do we even... We shouldn't even have a plan. Alright, we shouldn't even have a, a, a... An active order at this point besides getting on the front. Alright, so what are we going to do? Oh, it's so crowded. Okay. Um, they're pushing in from this side. I'm going to resume now my plan to basically... I mean, I c it's so narrow I could do this as a spearhead. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just go all the way around up here like that. And go. So East Africa is wrapping up pretty quickly. Um... I've ignored a few things here while I've been 
wants to provide minus one of convoy. They're taking back their convoys. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, and then I've got unassigned divisions. Okay. And can you deploy in allied territory? I guess I've never really known that. I know that makes me sound like sort of a doofus, but uh, whatever. So we're going to wrap up, um, not the video, I know it's dragged on for a little bit, thanks for staying with me. But uh, we're going to hopefully wrap up Eastern Africa here uh, pretty soon. What do we got? Unread naval battles. Ooh, defeat. What am I trying to do? All sunk ships of destroy. Oh, I'm probably just doing convoy raiding out here. Okay. I have zero sub protect. Although I'm not being subbed, I'm being bombed. Okay, I've got zero bomb protection as well. Um, so we're gonna wrap up the um, Eastern Africa and hopefully start the uh, Northern Africa. Really, I'm gonna just kind of stall you uh, until the uh, national focus comes through. Intervention in North Africa. It's got 15 more days. I'm not gonna make you wait that out. Okay, National Focus has completed October 16th, 1940, uh, excuse me, uh, Intervention in North Africa, where we have the capability to prepare a coup by decision. Uh, it's down here at the bottom. <clears throat> we do not want to promise independence. We want to, okay, prepare the coup. Casablanca, Marrakesh, Algiers, Tlemkin, Constantine, Tunisia, Gabes. Okay, so from my previous Victoria playthrough, I know we're talking about in this area here. Casablanca, Marrakesh. Okay, so not here. Um, but here. All right, so all along these areas. So we'll go ahead and unlock that coup option. Done. And now on the Intelligence Bureau side, we have it here, and it only costs us one agent and 50 network strength. <clears throat> but we have no network here, which sucks. So we're going to take this guy... Let's see. Should we play it risky or play it? And we've got this big network going on up here. 90%. Holy cow. Um, hmm. I was going to say, we can move him and leave... Uh, who, who, oh, is that a dude? Rene? Pierre? Oh, no, that's the location. Okay. And leave this person, <laughs> whoever it is, uh, where they're at, or just a, because they can rescue um, Juan, Jean, excuse me, I'm not, uh, uh, I'm playing France. Um, they can rescue Jean if, that would be one choice. However, although 50, 50 network strength is going to take a while, uh, I'm going to pull this dude out. I'm going to pull Jean out and have him go, which basically means we wasted all his time in, uh, in, Ile de France, which sucks, but whatever. We're going to pull him out and put him into Algeria. Algiers, excuse me. And have him start building network strength there. Uh, so that is really going to wrap it up for us. Uh, I had to back up a little bit because something weird happened with my orders. So we still haven't taken this area yet, but it's going to be uh, imminent. And so... Um, that's really kind of it. October 17th, 1940. Now, we haven't seen the Allies really do much up here yet. I mean, there's a they're exercising a little bit of pressure here. Uh, but in theory, Northern Africa was invaded by Allies in what's called Operation Torch. That didn't occur until 1942. So we'll see. We're we're pretty well ahead of the game here at this point, and um, we're going to. Uh, well, I, I'll just we'll, we'll call it. We'll be done. Eastern Africa, eh, all but done. Right? Give me a break. And uh, then we'll go for Northern Africa, and then the big, the big one. 
the invasion of Normandy, Operation Overlord on D-Day. And uh, we'll see what happens there. Thanks a bunch for watching, and I look forward to hanging out with you next time.